Rashad Alamadine, 31, a key player of the Alamadine family, was arrested in February 2022 after police ransacked his Maryland's home in a full-scale raid designed to dismantle what they claimed was a large dial-a-dealer drug operation, churning millions of dollars a week. Alamadine was found hiding in the roof of a Yaguna home. He was arrested and charged over bottles of the drugs named gamma butyrolactone also known as GBL and GHB or gamma hydroxybutyrate found at the property. Police also found mobile phones, clothing, prescription drugs, scales and cocaine. In February he was charged for directing a criminal group and drug dealing. Police's statement of claim filed at the court read that Rashad Alamadine directed the activities of organized crime group, knowing that it was a criminal group, and knew such participation contributed to the occurrence of criminal activity. He has been denied bail on last two hearings so far. That charge, if proven in court, carries the heftiest maximum punishment of life imprisonment. Rashad has now been told that police will pile two more drug offenses. The first was possession of 3.1 grams of GBL, the second was supplying a greater than commercial quantity of cocaine. Alamadine supplied just over 269 grams of cocaine between late November 2021 and his arrest in February 2022. That much cocaine is worth close to $100,000. Just like the GBL supply charge, the latest charge also carries a potential life in prison if Alamadine is convicted. NSW Police Strike Force Dolce, which was formed to investigate the alleged drug network, arrested three men during its raids including Alamadine, who they called a key member of an organized criminal network. It's believed the latest charges, which were laid last month, came after the phones, Chemical bottles and powders found in two Maryland's homes underwent forensic testing. GHB and GBL are commonly known as Fantasy, G-Rific, Goop, Liquid G, Cherry Meth or Blue Nitro. GHB and GBL are available as an odorless, colorless drug that can be combined with alcohol. They have a soapy or salty taste. Their use for sexual assault has resulted these being known as a date rape drug. Victims become incapacitated due to their sedative effects, and they are unable to resist sexual assault. GHB may also induce amnesia in its victim. Common user groups include high school and college students and rape party attendees who use GHB for its intoxicating effects. Besides these charges Rashad is also fighting driving charges and will face court next week where he is expected to be sentenced for the driving offenses, after pleading guilty. He continues to fight the drug supply charges, which will be mentioned in Paramata court this week. With all these charges it looks like Rashad Alamadine will probably have a very long if not lifelong stay in the prison.